typically the time of transit could be uh, for some planets it could be uh, very large like for saturn it stays in one sign for two and a half years and uh, it can be very small for moon something like two and a half days okay so it becomes very difficult to uh, pinpoint a particular event based on just the transit so today we will be discussing a technique that we can use to uh, exactly pinpoint a particular event or exactly pinpoint when and when and how the malefic or benefic effect of some transit is going to fructify okay for example if uh, mars is transiting a rashi that is having six bindus in the mars ashtak varga then what it means is out of eight planets six planets are beneficial for him and two planets have given the malefic points to him okay so out of uh, let's say mars stays in a rashi for around two months okay so out of those two months there will be some fraction like uh, two by eight one fourth portion of that time where the malefic effect will come into picture now using this technique that we are going to discuss now we can exactly find out during which time that malefic effect is going to happen also when the benefic effects are going to happen uh, for example the bindu uh, the beneficial bindu uh, contributed by some benefic planet uh, let's say jupiter or venus or some other planet okay so whenever mars is there in the bindu of that particular in the influence of that bindu then the effect is going to be different from when it is going to be in the influence of some other planet okay so that technique is called taksh technique okay taksh it is your bhava is divided into eight equally e equal uh, degree uh, taksh okay so each bhava is of 30 degrees if you divide the 30 degree into eight units you will come to know uh, you will come to around uh, 3 minutes and 45 uh, sorry 3 degrees and 45 minutes for each each kaksha okay that is 30 divided by 8 is equal to 3 degrees and 45 minutes so each kaksha is of 3 degree and 45 minutes okay and the order in which it is there first of all how we have to calculate it okay point number one it has to be calculated from the bhava cusp okay like if your uh, if your lagna is let's say exactly at zero degree zero degree of uh, libra okay then your bhava will include 15 degrees in the virgo and 15 degrees in the libra okay so the 15 degree from virgo to 15 degree libra is divided into eight equal kaksh and each kaksh is attributed to eight uh, eight planets that uh, that are that are in this order okay uh, the first kaksha belongs to the lagna okay then uh, first kaksha belongs to lagna then moon then mercury and then venus okay so this way from the bhava cusp the first 15 degrees belong to the lagna the moon mercury and the venus and 15 degrees after the bhava cusp it belongs to uh, sun mars jupiter and saturn okay so the kakshas are in this order that is Lagna, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Sun, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn. Okay. So for example, if your Bhava Kasp is, is at 0 degree Libra, then the 15 degrees Virgo to 18 degrees 45 Virgo will be will belong to 
the kaksha of lagna then the next 3 degrees and 45 minutes will belong to moon then the next 3 degrees and 45 minutes will belong to mercury then the next 3 degrees and 45 minutes will belong to venus that is shukra likewise the other kaksha lord will follow okay now let us begin with the analysis part in the analysis you have to look, look for the three three uh, important rules okay first where is that transiting planet from its own natal position okay that is let's say mars is there in in scorpio and currently it is transiting aries so we have to see the transit position of mars with respect to the natal position of mars that's first point second point who is the kaksha lord and where is the transit planet located from the natal kaksha lord okay so let's say mars is in aries transiting through the kaksha of shukra and shukra is there in virgo in the natal chart so it is eighth from the eighth from the venus okay so that that's the second point that you have to look for then the third is in what sign it is from the lagna okay so let's say lagna is in libra and mars is moving uh, mars is transiting the aries that is the seventh sign from itself so the seventh uh, house related things will will activate so this way using these three point analysis we come to the conclusion about the exact effect of that bhava exact effect of that uh, planet's transit okay now once you have divided the entire uh, transit period into such a small portion then uh, you can even predict for just 6 7 hours like moon is transit moon transits in a sign for 2 and a half days so if you divide that into 8 signs exactly in 6 hours moon transits to another kaksha okay so if you can make even the predictions up to 6 7 hours using this uh, using this technique like so based on this technique there is a chakra called sarva chancha chakra uh, that that basically uh, that chakra actually contains the prastar ashtak varga of all the planets in just one chakra so that you can uh, study the uh, the transit also not only the prastarashtak varga it also shows each bhava divided into various kakshas so when you are doing the transit anal- analysis this chakra comes in very handy okay now we will not be discussing the chakra exactly we will not be discussing the chakra exactly uh but the overall technique that we can that we can use to analyze certain events okay uh now once you have identified uh these signs uh these uh, bhavas from the kaksha lord from the lagna and from the natal position of the chart and natal position of the graha itself then we have to find out whether the event is going to happen with respect to uh the mool or the dhatu or the jeev okay event could be related to these three points mool means something vegetable okay like some grain some food some vegetable kind of thing that uh that it's a living thing okay it's a living organic thing they are called mool okay uh, as in case of kand mool okay then second is dhatu dhatu is something metallic like uh, something metallic and useful but lifeless thing like uh, your vehicle mm. uh, your electronic instruments like your tv or uh, <coughs> or things like that like nowadays there are many dhatus all the gadgets and everything will come under dhatu then the jeev jeev is either human or animals okay so we have to see we have to divide the karakatvas of rashis nakshatras and planets into these three categories okay uh, 
that is the jiva mool and dhatu and c uh, when when we are doing the transit an analysis then exactly uh, which of the three three category is getting getting influence getting activated actually okay so for example if you see a lot of maleficence influence on the dhatu part okay and uh, it is it could be related to venus and mars then you can predict that it is going to be some vehicle accident or something related to vehicle like vehicle breakdown or something okay but if the jiva is not involved that means the vehicle could get damaged but the person will not will be unharmed okay likewise if you see lot of jiva component coming to picture then you could predict the person is getting sick or something or some relationship issue okay uh, similarly for the mula case you may find that uh, the person is not getting proper food or he may have to travel to some place and he may not be getting good food or something or he may be deliberately fasting for some purpose some vrata or something okay so uh, using these karkatvas you can you can point out the event